So I haven't been able to vlog much um, in the last day. Uh, I would have vlogged more, but I've been kind of busy with taking care of Mocha's new babies. We just arrived out to the pasture, and this is what we're greeted with. Mocha had her babies. Come on, we got them. And I just, they were, they're still wet. There you go. Mocha. I came out to the pasture yesterday morning and um, Mocha was laying down by the uh, water, the water trough, 20 feet away from her, lay in the uh, hay feeder was, um, I saw one little tiny baby goat in the hay feeder and she was mostly clean. And then on the ground next to the hay feeder, there was a baby that was not cleaned at all, hadn't been licked, was still covered in afterbirth and um, I uh, immediately got in there, got them and Mocha out, um, got the one that was still covered in afterbirth cleaned up, dried off, and stimulated, and Mocha just had no motherly instinct whatsoever. She was doing fine. Um, she passed the, uh, the placenta, great. Didn't eat it, which I know sometimes they don't, but um, she didn't eat it. And then she, she just didn't seem to know what to do with them. So um, I tried intervening. I tried holding her in a still, letting the, ba letting the babies try and nurse. Um, the oldest one, the one that was nice and clean whenever I got there, was active, trying to nurse. The other one was just not active at all. So um, I milked her out into a bottle. She. Um, I was able to get a little bit, I'd say probably about uh, an ounce, and tried to encourage the, because the, the, the oldest one was nursing great, the little gray one. She was nursing great, and um, even though Mocha was not too thrilled about it, um, she was still getting, getting good. Um, but the little apricot color one, the one that looked like saffron, unfortunately, had no suckle reflexes, um, couldn't, wanted to try to latch, but couldn't. Um, but this was also, um, the other thing that also concerned me was this baby was half the size of the eldest and it couldn't even stand up. It was so weak and I just don't think that, um, I have no idea how long it was laying there before I got there. So, uh, spent the day rushing around trying to make sure I had all the things to care for it. Got, um, I had the colostrum replacer, um, got a, a, a probiotic paste, and I pretty much did everything I could trying to get this, this kid to nurse, and it just, it could not figure out latching. It would chew, so I would get the nipple in, it would chew on it, the nipple would drip and it would swallow. So it was swallowing, it was getting stuff down, but it just, after a period, it would start to cry and I would stop because then I'm worried that it's gonna slip down its throat. So I, I kept nursing it and nursing it and it took all day before it was starting to get enough strength to stand, but it was just in really rough condition, just really weak altogether. And um, unfortunately it didn't make it through the night but um, the eldest one did, and we closely monitored. I tried to not intervene and separate her from Mocha. Mocha was doing okay, and she was nursing, but um, I separated them this morning because whenever I went out to check on her and Mocha and try and milk Mocha out, because Mocha was still kind of sidestepping away from her, Mocha seemed like she wasn't producing. And I don't know if it was because she wasn't producing or if it was because baby had milked her out. So to err on the side of caution, I, um, we went out, when we went out to the pasture this morning, I milked out Annabelle and I went ahead and prepped a bottle and I fed the little gray doe, little gray doling, and she was eager to nurse, nursed, um, got a little bit of it down, and um, I just kind of separated them and le left Mocha out at the pasture so she can graze, um, kind of recoup, rest. I've given her pretty much everything I can give her, Nutri-Drench, probiotic paste, like 
the whole spiel. I gave her warm molasses water after she delivered. And um, so she's currently recovering. I was gonna go back out to check. I'm waiting for my helper who's out the pasture feeding this evening. She's gonna check and see if she's milked out at all, if, she's, if her udder's filled. And that will let me know that yes, she is producing and she fed the baby. So um, in the meantime, we, uh, we might have just acquired a uh, bottle baby, but she's very sweet. <laughs> Are you already hungry again? She's uh, been nursing and uh, we've got her worked on that and she's been doing pretty good, but um, she's so cute. Oh my goodness, she's so cute. And she's already following us around. So um, we're just kind of monitoring her. I'm currently letting her be out and stretching her little legs. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hi. Oop, oop, oop. Hi, little one. Hi. Oh, yeah. been sleeping all this time. She's gonna keep up with feeding her. I mean, we've got the Annabelle's milk's gonna be the next best thing to goat's milk. I think from I think in the hierarchy of best things to feed a baby goat, it is of course goat's milk, then fresh raw cow's milk, and then of course followed by formula, which I really don't want to have to do a milk replacer for them. Um, I would rather keep them on something really good that's gonna really really benefit that uh, beneficial gut flora. So she's. I mean, she's doing pretty good. She's pretty active. She's, Davis and I were joking around and talking about getting her a diaper so she could be our, a house goat because right now she's in the chick brooder and she fits. Like, that's how tiny, they, they're so tiny. I, like, honestly did not expect them to be this tiny. But she is, this one is doing good. And um, I'll keep you guys posted. Um, we need to start brainstorming names. Brainstorm a name for her. Uh, I don't know as far as the theme goes. I think we're just gonna kind of um, just throw out some names and then we'll have you guys vote again like what we did with Magnolia. She's pretty much following me around. Hey, come here, come on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, I think she's, I think, I think, I think I've success, successfully adopted a baby goat. So we might have a house goat. So, a little add-on to uh, the vlog. It's day three, and I have some very exciting news. We uh, brought little one out to see if Mocha would have any different feelings about her and to see if she could nurse. And look. Look at this. She's nursing. I, I'm, I tried squirting some milk out of Mocha's udder, and she does have milk. And Mocha went straight to licking her. I think we're good. Hi Pepper. Hi Pepper. What's the what's the so, leak from from the uh, from the window or the roof leak? Awesome. This is wonderful news. She is good.